The Roman Empire reigned for over a thousand years. The most powerful global superpower has existed a meager 244 years yet has experienced the most rapid exponential growth of technology. Americans, stuck in a perpetual state of consumption, divided, confused, and overtaken with the need to download, process, upload, and repeat. Every photo, text, email, call that you have ever sent has been recorded, saved, and stored in a file locked and protected in some database. Can you put a price on data? If there is a promise of buried treasure, you can guarantee there will be pockets scavenging the world to find it. Come on in, Romeo. Hey, boss. Hey, it's Romano. But I prefer to be called Frank. Yeah, yeah, whatever, kid. Take a seat. Now listen, my boss man wants me to assign you to a black ops mission. Highly special operative, highly classified. Do you understand? Now Get listen, it. you'll be operating under highly sensitive margins, time constraints. You think you got the chops for it, Romano? Sir, I've served this country for eight years. I have 382 successful missions. Jeez. All right, whatever. Now listen. A secret organization known on the dark web as Data X is a group of highly intelligent programmers that have a special niche for hacking into data vaults. They started. Jesus, they're targeting the poor because they can't afford the time for lawyers and financial settlements and all that crap justified in court, and the rich are too self absorbed to even blink an eye. Now, they have expanded to gaining access to financial records of those in the bottom two income quintiles. Or, in other words, they're stealing from the poor's identity stripping them of the financial histories. And if there's one thing you need in this country other than your social security number and an email address, it's good credit. All right, now listen. They sent a special agent into one of our buildings to collect the encryption code that would give them, their organization, access to the database holding the bottom 60% of the population's financial accounts. The only way they could have slipped past our security is if they had access to the physical key from the inside. Now, Data X has requested that we pay a bribe of $23.3 trillion, the balance of the current U.S. debt, or the population is at risk of bankruptcy or being victims of complete identity theft. Now, your mission is to track down the double ledger and obtain the password's encryption key. Then we'll send you into an undisclosed location in which we'll meet you with a self-proclaimed leader with the Data X collect evidence to incriminate them in an actual court of law. Do you understand? I Don't got go it. fudge this up now, Greeny. I got it. Now, Frankie boy, what do you know about the hypothetical transfer matter from one point to another without traversing physical space? Boss, are you talking about teleportation? Agent Romana. Don't be startled. I'm unarmed. Jesus. You won't be finding it there. You were disarmed when you brushed into the stranger on the corner of Lake Rubin Hey, I'm walking in. Hey, Smoke. Care to play a game, Mr. Romano? Your profile said you were quite the player in high school. Yeah, I played chess. Now let me ask you something. You understand that you were deemed as a threat to the United States of America, and there's no length that we won't reach in taking you down for this whole operation? Why, I feel as if you might take me for a fool. Yet our double agents were able to acquire your password encryption key without much opposition.
We don't negotiate with terrorists. Please, call me doctor. Doctor, are you aware that you're potentially facing life in federal prison without parole if you do not begin to cooperate with me? Why would I cooperate with you? We already have access to over half the population's financial records, and the only thing holding you back from releasing those records to public domain is $23.3 trillion. If you reveal the identities of those somehow coaxed into working for your crooked organization to us, I can assure you not met with the death penalty and the U.S. government doesn't bear you after I testify in front of the Supreme Court. How does that sound for a deal? You have exhausted my patience. After I push this button, over half the U.S. population will be inevitably impoverished. And you, Agent Romano, not as bright as I originally thought, will crawl back to your pitiful agency and meet the faces of resentment as you are outcasted from failing to complete your duties. Something that might not show up on my files is my gambling addiction. I've got one hell of a poker face, I must say. You called the bluff on my threat. Now let me be concise. You know, at the poker table, you can't forget that someone's always got an extra ace up their sleeve. But you wouldn't know anything about that now, would you, Doc?